excess acidity and how it can be reduced. Well, these teeth are showing acid damage, perhaps from the acid in the stomach. And this esophagus is also quite nastily inflamed, possibly from the acid there too. These small bubbles are causing bloating. Even though they're small, many, many of them will cause an uncomfortable feeling. Let's hop up onto this veggie burger and look at this here. There's splashing of the acid and that splashing is probably what's going up the esophagus and causing the burns and dissolving the teeth perhaps in extreme cases. Let's see what medicine can do. Well, one sort of medicine will actually collect all the small bubbles together, the so-called anti-foaming agent, such as dimethicone, and produce one big bubble. Now this big bubble can either go all the way down and out of the anus or all the way up, perhaps more favorably, and you can just burp it out. So these anti-foaming agents take small bubbles, make it into a big bubble, then you can burp it out easier. There seems to be a layer on top of the stomach now, some sort of raft, if you will. And that's damp down all that splashing that was going up to the esophagus. Esophageal reflux has now been reduced. This is an alginate and it makes this protective layer. And it can also occasionally line the trachea if, it, if it's a, in a special sort of delivery, perhaps as a fluid. The IB wants you to know about sodium, magnesium and aluminium based remedies for having too much acid in your stomach. Let's have a look, let's have a look at how these neutralize the acid. So sodium hydrogen carbonate and hydrochloric acid. Well, with all of these, take the proton from the acid and swap it out with a metal in this uh, medicine that we're looking at. And that makes these two products, well, the IB will get upset if you say carbonic acid. So split that up to water and carbon dioxide. Now that's a gas, and so if you take this remedy, it will neutralize some acid, but it will also make you gassy, maybe burpy. Magnesium hydroxide, again, swap the proton with the metal and we get magnesium chloride and water. Well, no gas there, so there'll be no need for uh, any anti-foaming agents. We won't make any excess gas or flatus. And that will neutralize two acid molecules. Aluminium hydroxide will actually neutralize three acid molecules. So arguably three times as effective on a molecule per molecule basis. That makes aluminium chloride and water. Again, no gas. Uh, each of these have their benefits and disadvantages that you don't really need to know, but uh, magnesium is uh, needed for biological health and aluminium has no known uh, uses in the body, so maybe choose the magnesium one then. Sodium hydroxide, that's a great neutralizer. That is true, but it's also a strong base, it will burn your esophagus, which will cause it to blister and you'll suffocate and die. So you have to choose weak bases, such as the three there. Oh, and you can't use anything like uranium carbonate either. That's terrible stuff too.